short reflection on my recent powerlifting competition. I think this meet, I didn't perform what I expected to. I don't know whether it's because of my sickness that affected my performance or the medication makes me weak or I didn't get enough sleep the day before my competition. Uh, I wasn't feeling 100%. However, there's no excuses. It is what it is, right? Um, anyway, I still managed to break my PR on my squat and deadlift. It wasn't plan A, which my goal target for squats was 110 and 125 for deadlift. Yeah. Mm, as I wasn't feeling good on that day, so... So oh, the most disappointing was my bench press. However, I still managed to maintain my 47.5 kg on my bench. Yeah. Anyway, now the competition is over. It's time to head back to the gym and improve on my lift. So here's the video. Check it out. So today's training session is all about volume work. Adding more volume, high reps on my, on my lift. Uh, so this is first set of 6 reps at 70kg. So whenever I squat, uh, I always keep, I always tell myself to take a deep breath. Breathe in through my belly. Keep it tight. Descend slow. Look up straight all the time and keep a midfoot and drive up fast and aggressive yeah so this is my second set of six reps at 70 kg uh, you want to keep your rest time uh, 60 seconds to 90 seconds nothing more than 90 seconds because you want to re you want to increase your work capacity so you want to reduce and minimize your resting time so that you can get the most benefit of the hypertrophy phase So moving on to my bench, uh, this is my first set of 8 reps at 32.5 kg. So whenever I set up for my bench press, I have to always remember to keep my scapula, which is my shoulder blade, retracted at all times. Keep it tight and stable and then press down to the bench. Okay, and then... I need to place my feet on the floor. So to create the arch, I have to keep kicking forward. So I have to use a lot of leg drive and keep kicking forward and then push my chest up. So that's how you want to create the arch. Okay, uh, the arch is just to shorten your range of motion especially in powerlifting so then I unrack the bar make sure I bring down the bar to my chest area which is around my sternum and then I press up 
So the bar path should be a J curve instead of a straight bar path. Yeah, that's what you want to remember. So usually after uh, the main lift, still have accessory work to to do. Uh, I didn't manage to record, so the accessory are dumbbell stiff legged deadlift, uh, three sets of eight reps at RPE nine. Uh, I did three sets of eight at sixteen kg, and then followed by leg press. Super set with leg extension, three sets of ten, and then leg pull down and cable row, three sets of ten each. Uh, last but not least, my sit ups to increase my core strength, uh, four sets of fifteen. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, Remember to subscribe and hit the notification button so whenever there's a new videos, you get to watch uh, the latest one. Okay, so see you and have a good day.